Mm-hmm. It's just a starship, man. It's okay. You don't have to growl at it. Ah! You don't have to bark either. It's okay. Ah! It's, it's on fire. It's not even. It's just not even alive anymore. Ah! But, but like it probably like it's got good stuff in it. Ah! Uh, it was a good Richard Nixon impression though. <laughs> Like it, 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 my chest is in pain. How's the rest of you doing? Oh, fine, absolutely fancy. Oh, okay, then I don't see any problem then. Aurora, 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 Aurora. Aurora. Okay, so let's make the gun and then yeah, okay. take the metaphorical plunge. Can I just. But what if I. I mean, it's sort of like the reverse of a plunge. Like you're trying to get as high as possible. It's yeah, I'm trying to de plunge seen. myself. That sounds yeah. weird. What if I can just do like a super, super powered swing and then cut the Aurora in half from a distance with a pure energy wave? Why do you think that our goal is to cut the Aurora in half? Aurora cut! Now we just have to explore two places. God damn it! Why do we have more radio? Hey, we've always got a call for you. This is Life Oh, Pod I love Four. Life Pod 4. Oh, they're close to the Aurora. Oh, there's a big old fish in the water. What? I know what they're hoping for, but you're not you're not going near anywhere where they just said that there's a big fish. Yeah, like, what? What are you? What are you? That's they should have said, cute. we're perfectly fine, but would like some help with directions. <laughs> Is it just me, or is the entire purpose of this cloud to sneakily hide the fact that you would otherwise be able to see land there? Maybe. Like, it just seems a little bit too suspect. I mean, it, it is pretty far away. It's probably around the horizon line from here. You never take me alive, metal! You won't take me alive, copper. Yeah, that was that was what I was doing, yeah. Yeah, but I wanted I wanted to make it clear because you, it sounded like you lost confidence at the end. <laughs> I always lose confidence. It's the best the time to lose confidence. Everyone knows your final impression is the least important one. That is true. You want to walk in, explode, explode. You want to walk in, explode, explode, and then you're done. Yeah. Explode. I was looking at the explode fish. Then you only leave one impression. Yeah, exactly. Walk up into the uh, the party and just. It's the fact it struggles to come out. Of... Ah! Oh, 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 oh. Why was it like Jesus trying to get in front of you? Christ! Oh my God, there's more. It's the fact that they struggle to come out. Like, all right. Yeah, I do. I do have to question the whole like. Point oh. of their existence because it's like they aren't given birth to until it's time to attack you and explode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they yeah. come out of like a flower, and it's like, what, what are these? Oh, it's another exploding. Any more intel for me? <laughs> oh, that one was even hiding under a fish. Did I just pick up an extra? I did pick up an oyster otter. I did just pick up an oyster otter. An oyster otter? What? What is an oyster otter? Oh, it's a icon. <laughs> Oh, is that is that its original translation? Yeah, it's Noinong. <laughs> Noinong. Look, all I can think about is the existential dread that soon I'm going to be auroring. So, brain not well, go do a maximum speed. Well, we're not there yet, so don't worry about it right we now. We're going to be. You don't know that yet. Why can't I scan this technology? It's not technology; it's a plant. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look how I scan this it's technology! A it's a bush in a box. I want to know how to make a bush in a box. We already have a little planter, though. Oh, here we go. Stasis rifle. Stasis rifle. Stasis rifle. That's going to take up a bunch of inventory space, though, isn't it? Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. It is a big boy. Motivational note. Craig McGill crash landed in the acid swamps of Boreal 9. Fought off arachnid kidney poachers and hijacked a tame Star War. If he can do all that, you can survive one more day. Th thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, that motivational star is really. I really appreciate nice. the confidence. So, Aurora checklist. Isn't it the sea moss, buddy? Okay. It's on fire. Correct. So, we have a fire extinguisher. That's probably nice. Good. 95%. Yeah. We've got. I mean, we we well, there'll be stuff to scan. We do have a spare Hopefully. battery. We We've do. got two lots of repair tools. That's good. We probably good, don't need yeah. the habitat builder. We've got the propulsion panel to deal with anything that that needs like moving. Yeah, like blockages, maybe. Yeah. We've got the stasis rifle, which is nice. For safety. I'll put the propulsion on as well, and then we've got the cutter. I guess we won't need the sea glide because we're gonna go. But I'll wait till we actually get there in case I need it. Yeah, I mean, you might need it inside. And then. I think that's everything, right? Alright, well, in that case, let's go! No, I think this will be the best time to go. Now that I 
think about it, I left the oven on in my in my pod, so that's a shame. There's no isn't oven it? in here, and you know it. That's a sh- that's a shame. Oh my! That's pretty fancy. Okay, let's experiment by shooting a fish. Put your fins up! Put your fins up! It doesn't really have fins in the classic, typical sense. Okay, okay, stop moving so much. I'm trying to shoot you. It's doing a good job. Pew! Pew! It helps if you press the button. Oh, I wasn't pressing it! I was just saying pew! You are just saying pew. <laughs> oh! Jesus! Wow! Okay. All right, that's not bad, is it? That's not bad. Yeah, that's pretty solid. And it's still at power 100%, so it's got at least 100 shots. Oh, my God. So you just kind of aim it and... Oh, you can charge oh, it! Oh! Okay. I didn't... Oh, God, oh. I did fire! <laughs> well, you did, apparently. Okay, so it's much bigger when it's charged. Bigger, and I think it lasted longer, too. He it's closed just your his fish. eyes. Oh. And his mouth's open. He's ready. Wow. That really lasts a while when you charge it. Okay, I wonder if this can handle, like, powerful, dangerous things. Surely, surely it can. I feel like that's the point of it more than anything. Like, you think we could lock up, like, a crab snake or a sand shark? I think easily. I think even bigger than that when we, when we come across something bigger finally. Okay, let's not say that. Let's not imagine that. Let's not think about that. Let's not do okay. literally any of that, actually. In fact, shut up. But you can stasis your own base. Why would I want to stasis my basis? Just to prove that you can. There's no point getting melons because they'll, they'll just start deteriorating, so we're going to wait to pick them until it's time to go. It is time to go. It's not time to go. It's not daytime. It doesn't need to be daytime. you got a flashlight. It'll be daytime by the time oh, yeah, you get good. there. Oh, yeah, good. I'd love to have a gloomy flashlight in death zone. You don't know that it's death zone until it's death zone. I mean, we went over there at the very start, and it kind of went a bit green, so we probably want all the light we can get. Yeah, because it was a radiation problem, but we have a suit to fix it. <laughs> radiation. That's really that's such a mild way to put it. There's a little bit of a radiation problem uh, in here. So. I'm just saying this, that's why we got a radiation suit like 10 hours ago what's the difference between alien containment and an aquarium i don't think i don't think the fish necessarily are the same thing as maybe it's like land-based aliens like the like the, uh, the cave crawler or maybe this is where we can put put the eggs that would make sense oh it's still nighttime. that's a shame that is isn't it not for long it's not do you think we do have everything what if there's like a weapon or a tool we've not found yet that maybe might come <sighs> in useful oh, that sigh that was the most like this fucking guy <laughs> Well, this is a lovely 100% Subnautica playthrough that you're going for here, but I just want to see the big ship. I just want to see the big ship. What is what is the cool of the big ship? Do you think there's perhaps a data pad that we missed inside of the alien technology tower? <laughs> oh. oh, it's daytime. Oh, it's not quite daytime. Yes, it is. The sun is up. It's, it's, it's upping. It's not completely up. Uh, it is It is up. There is light under the water. Look, I think what's important is that we should actually bring some bottles of water, because that doesn't perish, so that Get makes more sense. fucking melons. Please stop talking about my melons like this. So you're a captain. You're going to be the captain of the Aurora. Ow. Oh, oh, I accidentally damaged it. I need to, you took 7%. Uh... Just stop shooting the stasis rifle. Get back in the sea one. <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't mean feel it. like you're you're here for your Seamoth driver's license test, and I'm just like just, <laughs> just relax. Put on the fucking seatbelt. <laughs> I need to come up with a plan. The plan is to go to the Aurora. <laughs> it looks like the land actually gets relatively high close to there as well. I mean, I guess it must do because it's resting above the water. If it was deep, it would sink, right? Well, I figured maybe it was just a little floaty, you know? Oh, yeah, look, this, like, used to be, like, the... Oh, it was probably because of the explosion? Yeah. And the radiation, I guess? Yeah, it's, like, nuked it. Well, that'll be some new wreckage, then. Okay. Well, I mean, we've successfully made it literally to the thing. <laughs> oh, there's stalkers here. Stalker, yeah, I was gonna say, I thought I heard a stalker. Why did you laugh at me saying... Ah! Oh, Sunshack, okay. And I, I guess the stalkers would be here, because they love the little metal salvage, and where are they going to get the most of it? Why Why is there not just, like, a nice little... It might be soon. ...entrance? I don't like that it's deepening again. Well, I feel like we have to get to one end or the other. I mean, I guess we do want to keep looking underneath us, that seems... It's wreckage. Fish. That a... no, it's wreckage, okay. Just fish and metal. Everything looks like a fin or a tail or a... Yeah, there's, there's sparse life forms. Okay, 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 do we go in? Sure, yeah. Is this it? What's going on? Oh, yeah, 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 look, look, ramp! Okay, 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 okay. Oh, look at that. Oh. Are we good? You're, all, you're good, you're good. It is shaking a little bit. Oh, okay. We're on the Aurora. What? Why is 
to shake? Just shake sometimes. It's probably the radiation. Okay, that wasn't as bad. Just uh, re remember where hell? we parked. Yeah, well, I mean, now we're on dry land. It's kind of exciting to explore. Well, I, you know, it, it is probably at least a little bit dry, but I don't know if I'd call it land. I guess we have to go in here, right? Well, maybe it's a gravity gun situation? Propulsion cannon? Even? Oh, yeah. Ah! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! What? Oh! <laughs> oh, hell yeah! Though it, do it does use power very quickly. Okay, yeah, maybe I shouldn't I, I shouldn't individually fling every single crawler out into that we really want to However, do. quite effective, quite effective bit of a... Uh, Revenge. Okay, I need to stop doing the blast part. That does seem to be... Uh... Yeah, I think the blast uses a lot of extra battery. Oh, a free battery! Imagine coming here without the tools and having to turn around. And I guess you don't get through. Oh. Oh, there's also a fire extinguisher on the wall. Okay, I guess maybe that would have been a bit mean if, like... You yeah, for especially and... the fire extinguisher, of all things. Yeah. All right, Aurora. Oh, no, is that more water? If it's just a room, it's okay. If it leads, like, straight down into the ocean, then I'm... Okay, it's okay, room. it's just a room. Oh! oh, it was water. It was water on my screen. And, okay. and fire on the ceiling. I don't know why I feel so tense about this. It should be okay-ish. I mean, at most, it's going to be like, what, a stalker in here or a sand shark? Or... Yeah, we're in, we're in an enclosed area. Uh, oh. We got a code at some point. Do you think it's for this door? I mean, it said the code was for the captain's quarter, right? So it should, in theory, be a... A more impressive. Well, there's a code there. I just, I just think we should try the code if we have, if we have a code. Where's the code? Did you see a code? It's, it's in our, one of our data pads. Two six seven nine. Okay. Nine. <laughs> Two. Six, Damn floating. <laughs> seven. You're right. It's really annoying. Like seven. Nine. No. Okay. So that's a different room. I hope there's not more codes to find, and we have to come back for them. I'm gonna be very upset. What is this? Not it's gonna access. be that. It's gonna be in there. Six four eight three. Oh my god. Because everyone knows, if you have a passcode for your door, you should leave a, a copy of the uh, key code five feet away. That is how it works, yeah. I mean, it's just standard ship exploratory uh, common sense. Yeah. 6483. 6483. 6483. Six, no. No, 6683. Six, 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 the other one. 4. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. New blueprint repulsion cannon. What's the difference? Maybe it pushes instead of pulls. Oh, more data. What can we learn from the hive mind of Strata Six? I don't know. What can we learn? Fucking a lot, apparently. The concept of the throg. Mm, I love throg. It's just Thor is a frog, in case you're wondering. Oh, a frog with like a little lightning hammer. Yeah, frog. Oh, frog! <laughs> the amphibian god of thunder. What did we just get? He's, he's got a little metal wing helmet. Sample analyzer. Sample analyzer. Non-functional though. Oh, is that? I think they're just like cosmetics that you can stick around your base. Like I don't want to miss anything because I'm not coming back here ever again. So <laughs> you know, that's my uh, <laughs> that's my I, whole. I think uh... that's a love. I think that's a lovely thought, but might be proven wrong if there's anything here of note. So is this, oh, is this how you get round to, yeah, because I think that's at the other side, that one. If we go okay. back through here, yeah, uh, that's that yeah. coil room. The question is if there's anything in the coil room to the right where we can safely go. I think it was just the data pad, I guess. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, let's not risk electrocuting myself. Oh, actually, it's electricity and water. How is it safe to be anywhere near it? Well, yeah, it should either be safe to be, like, right next to it or not safe to be a mile away from it. Yeah, right? There's not really, like, a, a middle ground when it comes to that. No, water doesn't really, like, uh, arrange to it with this. I'm glad we bought a laser cutter. Yeah. But I guess when it describes it, was on it the as, list. you know, it's great for going through steel doors. It's, it's... It, it, op it opens doors. <laughs> it just seems like hmm, it's the one place that there's going to be doors. Where, where does it seem likely? I'm glad we've got the extra oxygen upgrade, though. This would be really irritating. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Well, well, well we're trying to shake your location. But there is uh, some more water holes for you to regain oxygen up there. Oh, this place is... It's funky. Aurora black box data. Hmm. Human life signs detected one. So that's us. Yeah, eight at eight hours. Oh, yeah. personnel unaccounted for. Non-essential systems maintenance chief Riley Robinson. Is that us? Maybe. Oh, we're non-essential. Yeah, we're accounted for if we're the one person that they were scanning. This is... Oh, my God. We're in water. How are we on fire? Oh, it's a water fire. No, the fire is above the water. Okay. Maybe... Can you, like, open the escape pods and then it'll, like, flush out some water or something? Give you some space? Can you use the fire extinguisher up there? No, I can use it underwater. Well, I mean, if it can fire you underwater... Oh my god! It actually oh, propulses you! That's so 
good. That's great. See if you can look around and see if you can find anywhere, any reason to go up there. Because there's that door. Oh, yeah, there's that. If we can quickly get to that. How yeah. close to in there can we get? Can we just, like, get there quick, do you think? There we go. Okay. Yeah, okay. So it's just getting to this side. Or is it just, like, a checkpoint? Oh, no, then we can go back down in there. Okay. Yeah. Jesus. All right. So it's just a room you got to get through quick. Oh, my God. Honestly, maybe take out the sea glide just for the flashlight at this point. Yeah, this is a wreckage. <laughs> Yeah, that is that is certainly a way to describe it. I think it's one of the more accurate ways. I think it actually might be the most accurate way to uh, describe it. Just a, a full stop. Why possibly? I'm glad there's air. You know, just oh in yeah. general. Glad there's air. Really helps in life. Surface. See what we got. Ooh. Oh, oh, what's that thing hanging from the ceiling? Oh my God! What is that? It's like little mech suits. Why didn't you tell me about this? Oh, I definitely wasn't trying to for the last minute and a half. Is it a thing? Oh, that's the prawn. Oh, it's fragments. Oh, so if you scan both of those, maybe we can get a prawn. Oh, we just get the prawn suit. Okay. Oh, no, we need four. Okay, so definitely scan the other one. That's awesome. There's two in this room at the very least. Do you think we can build one of these? I mean, if you can get the fragments, then yes. That's like a little, like, mech thing. I wonder if there's any more, like, submerged in this room, like if any fell down. Yeah, that would make sense, actually. Oh, that's so exciting. Yeah. That's so cool. That's awesome. And we already have an arm. We can be a prawn man. We can be a prawn man. We can be a prawn man. Do you love a good prawn? Oh, I don't really. I'm not a huge fan of them. I just I just enjoy the way they pop. Okay. That's grim. Oh, a thing. Locker room. <laughs> a thing. Dude, there's a thing here. There's a thing. Have you seen the thing? There's, there's, there's Repair a that. thing. Repair that thing. Come on, come on, come on. Put that. Attach the wire to the wire and then put the and then put the panel back it's on. It's like snake charming, you know? It's like... <laughs> You have better snake charming music than me. I don't know why mine was. <laughs> okay, so what do we think the correct way? Living quarters? Huh, ironic. Ha <laughs> ha, because they're all dead. Because they're all dead. Oh, prawn! Oh, there's one. Oh, there's another one on the wall, too. I can see it. I can see it over there. Yes! Yes! Full Do you think suit, we can punch suit. fish? I hope so. I hope we can punch fish. Oh, that would be so great. Oh, that is exciting. Look at that. And there's another one here. Who needs it? Do you think this just gives us more titanium? Probably. Okay, it does. That's it. Full prawn set. I was just wondering if maybe more advanced stuff gives us, like, better materials. If yeah, we maybe. Scan it. So presumably maybe. this is propulsion. Yeah. <laughs> this just threw a radio signal. What are you doing on my ship? I like just how many like little things you're being rewarded for having just stuff for. I know. Like imagine going here before, you know, doing what I sensibly did, which was waste as much time not going here because I'm a little baby coward. Correct. Hey, I did it, okay? I have been very brave. We're here, we're exploring. Was it all you hoped it would be and more? Are you having a great time? Is this what you wanted? Well, I feel like you should go the other way first, because this feels like more the intended route. Oh, do you think so? See, I, I, was, I was getting the opposite impression. The living quarters is where the captain's quarters would be, which we have a code for already, so surely that's the point we're supposed to go. Who? Sweet offer. Oh, new code, 1869. Oh, they've got new hands. You're telling me you've been on this rig more than a year and you never took a ride on the outside? Time freaking robot suit! <laughs> Whoa. I feel like you're not anywhere near as impressed by all of this as you should well, be. Well, I was reading the end of it where it was giving the actual information. There's some special augmented arms in a place where we have a code for now. I mean, if there's one thing that I like, ask anyone, I always say this, it's arms that are specially augmented. Crew of the Mongolian vessel Degassi. Oh, search and rescue. Oh, Mongolian vessel. That's the place that we have the, the suggested place for. Yeah. So do you think the Aurora isn't the first thing to... That would explain all the old established maybe bases not. on the island. That's not Aurora maybe, people. Maybe that's not. the Degassi people who also yeah, got shot down. It it's just this awful chain of people coming to this planet. The, the, the people from the Mongolian council. To rescue each other and then just repeatedly being shot yeah. down and no one has any idea what is going on. That's very unfortunate. 4546B, Category 3 Ocean Planet. So that's where we are. It's only Category 3. Oh, it's only Category 3. Yeah, it's fine, right? Oh, still infected. Still infe infected. Infected, okay, still infected, okay. You never know, there might be ways to cure yourself. Well, I mean, we have to, right? Otherwise we gotta leave. Well, I mean, maybe we're not supposed to leave. I don't know, maybe we're supposed to just become the overlord of this ocean planet. Maybe the end of the game is you just, yeah. You just come to a point where you realize this planet is right for you. I can't imagine ever coming to that point, ever, but, you know. I like your optimism. Just give it time. Yeah, man, I'll give it time. And vending machines. I love scanning this. Like, Wish you really? Can scan. Is this guy over here like, 
What is this strange device with food? Well, if it gives you the recipes for all of the snacks inside, it's pretty solid. It's just so funny. The idea we're just scanning mundane, normal objects. He's like, hmm, better get the info. Ooh. Today's menu. Elm. Dried fruits Dried and nuts. Dried fruits and nuts. Cottage pie or nutrient mm. block. Space bear for Space loot. Space bear for loot. Mmm. Condensed Delicious. into a smooth, nutty, protein-rich soup. Who doesn't want that? All right, give us the uh, cottage pie in uh, full fancy food advert mode. Rehydrated minced beef in its own gravy. Served with a topping of mashed mm. Chinese potato. Picked fresh this morning from the onboard grow beds. Oh, yeah. And a side of sautéed Chinese potato plant leaves. That's the stuff. For the time-conscious consumer, you could instead have the usual nutrient block options that block are available. Options. They may be consumed cold or reconstituted at the on-site fabricator. Cottage pie or nutrient block. Bring us up and order a lot. Then you can have dried fruits and some nuts. I love dried fruits and some nuts. Can you scan that? <laughs> you can just take it. Okay. Whoa, I oh my god, we need to protect that at all costs. God, this place is big. It's really big. It's really big. Just a bed. Oh, it's a bed. <laughs> Sorry, I had to put it out real quick. It's too, it's too, it's too toasty. Yeah, just, you gotta be sure. It's a fire bed. <laughs> I've got a bed now. Woo! Oh, you can sleep somewhere. To be fair, we don't actually have anywhere nice to sleep. So we just gotta stand there and watch. You just move into this place. It is a bit on fire. But other than that, I think it's pretty solid. What was the captain's code? I don't remember. Uh, Captain's quarters. It was. It was there where you were just looking. Oh, codes and clues. Lab access. Captain's quarters. High security terminal. Life pod for transmission origin. That's a. That's a yeah. floating one looking at the aurora. Yeah, that was the one that they said they were nearby, right? Okay, maybe we can find that one. Wait, alien facility location. Oh, is that the cave? Cave system with extensive fossil records southwest of enforcement platform. Function live What's specimen study. Oh, the enforcement platform. Synthesis the, uh... of antidote for highly infectious bacterium designated Kara. That's the name of what we've got. Boom! I don't know why I boomed that discovery. <laughs> I don't know if you should boom your Boom, bitch, infection. Kara! <laughs> boom, I know what I'm infected with. I know why I'm dying now! Woohoo. I'm going to assume then that we go to this facility and we learn how to Probably. deal with the Kara. Ideally, I think. Two, six, seven, nine. Captain, what you got? Maybe the data pad with the uh, the code for the next door over. No signal. No signal. Captain's log. Loading program, Craig McGill, Simulator. Red. Captain Hot Dog Hollister. <laughs> Captain Hot Dog Hollister. Matt Boyle. Matt. I love me, Captain Hot Dog Hollister. You are exploring a quiet alien backwater when the ship that you arrived here in implodes. It must be the arachnid kidney poachers. Quick, what will you do? That's just what Craig McGill would do. That's what Craig McGill would do. Hot dog, hot and dog McGee. Would you like to fight the star wall? Apologize to the star wall or accept your fate. That's so funny. He's playing like a little choice game. You will not continue. Oh, a double bed. Captain gets it special. Of course. He is the captain, of course. Craig Hot Dog McGill. Ooh, a little, little miniature. Why not? Aurora miniature. Oh, that's quite fun. Excuse me? Neptune escape rocket blueprint? What? What? That might be how we get out of here. We should probably clear infection before taking the disease off of the planet, though. Launch platform gantry stage one. So do we think the power source is the ion Maybe. cubes we found? I mean, it might be more significant than that. There is a thermal power facility. I feel like that's probably relevant. Onboard air will not launch if local threats are detected. Okay. So if you come to the Aurora before you get the code for this door, then you're just going to have to leave and come back to get the recipe for the escape rocket. Yeah. That's so mean. Well, I think that's true of all of the things that are locked behind the different, like, tools. I guess. That's so mean, okay, though. Okay, so we do have one more code we can try at that door. I don't remember where it said it was supposed to go to. It was, it was, was it lab access? No, it was the, the sweet, to, the sweet, sweet thing one where the, for the, the, the prawn parts, uh, under codes. Codes, codes. Down. Sweet offer. Cabin number one, yeah. Oh, yeah, 1869. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. I did it. Me. <laughs> well done, 1869. What a messy area. Arcade gorge time. Sure. Responsible autonomous relationships. Okay. 
If a person finds a better source of the goods they require, they're not wronging their original supplier by changing their purchasing arrangements. In the context of love, Jesus Christ. If one member of the relationship should feel threatened or jealous, they must look at their own business model and ask whether it's performing model. competitively. There's always room for improvement. What the fuck, Jenny Eckhart? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. How is this room supposed to help us with prawns? <laughs> oh Alright, yes. So sorry, eyes, eyes on the prize, man. Eyes on the prize. Sorry, I got distracted. Oh, there's a sprint! Huh. This entire time. Is this, have we been this way? No, we haven't. This is the whole, whole more cabins. That's where we came from, right? And that's the way out. Yeah, that's where we came from. So Oh my god! Yeah, there's a whole more three cabins. That's ridiculous! This place is massive! Relationship contract legal recording. Oh god. Listen, I know I don't have the right to make demands of you, but I need to understand that I want to change our arrangement. I hear what you're saying and I will try to respect it. How would you like to change? I would like to reduce our contact hours. How much further can we do that? It's a zero! You're dumping me?! I'm changing the terms of our relationship. How is it still a relationship if we don't see each other? It's a relationship of a kind. You have so many expectations. I feel like you just want to spend more time with that dumb guy in his dumb robot suit. That's not a feeling, it's a judgment. And I feel hostility in what you're saying. Perhaps your jealousy is a sign that you need to take another look at your business model. Why can't you just be happy for me? I am happy for you. And I'm happy for all of the guys in the prawn bay. I'm just not happy for me. This is why I want to change our arrangement. <laughs> That's so great. <laughs> oh, celebratory, celebratory, fire extinguish. Celebratory puffs. We got a real uh, glimpse into the lives of some people, of all the dead people. I wonder if any of those were our rooms. That's true. I mean, it said we weren't very important, so I doubt we got a, an actual cabin near the captain. Well, assuming that was us. All we know is the sea. I mean, Seamoth Bay, I feel like it's got to have some good stuff. Yeah, no, I'm excited for the Seamoth Bay. Like, what if we can get, like, a super Seamoth with, like, guns on it? Yeah. Ooh, repair tool time. Come on, come on, wire. Go back to where you live. You know, you want to. Oh! Into the house. The wire house. Interesting. Ooh-wee. Anything to scan? Anything good? PDA? VR suite. Player 2 has traded a coconut with player oh. 3 for 10 credits. Player 3 wow. has planted a coconut. Players are getting hungry. Player oh, player 3 has grown a coconut tree. Oh no, player 2 has died from cold and starvation oh. after winning. Oh no. Oh. Seamoth threat? Oh, oh no, this we is already... a fragment, yeah. Yeah, we don't care about that. I don't care about that. I guess that's just to make sure that you have that. Yeah, that would actually make sense if there's just a bunch of things in here to make sure that you got. Pick up Seamoth oh, dead module. Yep, okay, yes! <laughs> now that I read. Seamoth dump punk, yes! And then you started drowning on the water that you were hit in character. <laughs> I love Seamoth dump punk, yes! Seamoth bum bum, yes. That's really good. Yeah, it is. Do you think that's just like the full-on upgrade or the blueprints to make it? I mean, that looked like the upgrade. That's the same slot you stick it into in the Seamoth shape-wise. I guess that would make sense. Give the Seamoth more exploration power after you've finally conquered the Aurora. Well, I guess we go to the drive room. Wow, okay. Okay, so stuff falls from ceiling in here. How do I go to the surface? You're, you're at the surface. Me, it won't let me swim you're, you're not. You're not in the water. Oh, you're not in water. You're not in water. Oh, God. I don't, I don't know how I could have done that in, in, in any. I was really freaked out, man. Any simpler way. Oh, that's so funny. Uh, Ooh, Cyclops, Cyclops engine, engine efficiency. efficiency model. Okay, well, I guess we want that, don't we? So yeah, we definitely need space for that. So can we not get round to the? No, got to go in. I think you might have to do some swimming in this room. Oh, this would be the room to put something in. It would. Then again, how would it have got here? And also, you can see the entirety of the undersection. Okay, yeah, we're good. We're good. That would have been really mean otherwise. Like, we haven't seen a single living thing in here so far. That's actually a really good point. So I think we're probably okay. I guess the danger is just all the environment. It's all the fire and the electricals and... Oh, the little fish. Bleeder. Bleeder? The hell is a bleeder? <coughs> oh my god! Yep, like a, le like a leech was what I was about to say. Okay, that's quite... That's terrifying. What the hell? You just want your blood. What is this? Breach. Breach. Oh, you're repairing it. Stop scanning it and repair it. The arrow's drive car is shielded by a thick metal shell, which which breached the multiplication shell's crash. Once breached, we need to leak radiation to the surrounding environment until the breaches are sealed. 
After that point, the radiant environment will disappear all the time. This procedure will only be attempted with appropriate radiation and a fully charged repair tool. Okay, well, fix fix some breaches. Yeah, I guess we fix the breaches. Might as well. It I seems mean, like something good long term. Do we think the bleeders are going to be too too much of a problem? Okay. I mean, we've already killed two. So, oh yeah, they were right here. Okay. All right. So the seam off depth and the prawn seem like the two biggest wins here. Outside of you know stopping it going crazy by fixing it. Where are the... Oh, there's one. Oh, the little, the little radiation-like looking leaky things. <laughs> it does sound like a little radiation looking leaky thing, yes. It seems almost too easy. I'm not a designated repair person. Am I even allowed to do this? No, but you do have the suit and a repair to... I mean, you're not necessarily qualified, but it's probably better that you do than that you don't. I'm glad we've got a spare battery. I think we would run out before doing them all. Yeah, we, I think we've got a few spare batteries. Yeah, we do have a couple. Yeah, we've got a couple, you know, a couple spare batteries. Just a couple. Okay, I'm glad those, whatever they were, aren't too aggressive. I think there is just only two of them. How are they in here, though? What are they? I mean, you know, the bleeders. Oh, yeah, classic little bleeders. Bloody little bleeders. They were probably like someone's pets. Like, they had them in an aquarium in the crew quarters. One more. Where's the last one? Where is it? There, there it, is. it is. This is quite exciting. This feels quite like a momentous moment. Oh, well, you're just turning off the radiation in the reason. It's pretty good for everyone, I'd say. Turning off the big radiation off switch. Yeah, radiation no more. Oh, yeah? Radiation D. Things are... You know what occurs to me is that my radiation might be a decent reason as to why there's not too many living things around here. Yeah, but it's not just going to immediately dissipate. No, it won't be immediate. I just mean that uh, we should definitely uh, do the things here we want to do here. I mean, that feels like it's it, right? Well, there was, this isn't the end of the... There was more places to explore still from our back pads, right? Was there? I think so. Okay. Well, jobs are good in. So yeah, go back and take our, our other path. Well, that's a pretty big room full of cargo. Oh, I wanted to go live in that bot. Oh, Cyclops engine fragment! Cyclops engine fragment. Oh, it... I see. Oh, does that mean we're going to have to do multiple different parts of the Cyclops, aren't we? Yeah, maybe it's massive then. So we've got a hull and an engine now. It's probably a third bit, at least. Maybe the Cyclops comes after the prawn suit, then? A cockpit or something. Well, I imagine that the main difference is the Cyclops is probably going to go the deepest. Yeah. I mean, now that we can go a little bit deeper in the Seamoth, we can actually explore those caves without being constantly yeah. pressed against the ceiling for depth. That's and lovely. it's daytime! Yeah, we could probably just stick that in right right away, too. Oh, yeah! How am I going to get back? Seamoth? Same way we got here. Yeah, but it was terrifying. Yeah, but there was also nothing there. So, yeah, like, but I there feel was nothing like that to reinforce was that. more than anything. There's no way you're supposed to be able to get to the Aurora without something horrible happening to you. It's too big of a deal. I mean, I feel like surely like, there's a chance been, of something horrible been, happening. We have been exploring this death ocean for too long without some proper death happening. Yeah, but, like, think about the actual size of the ocean. Sure, there's some scary shit out there, but if you compare it to the actual size of the ocean, your chances of running into the scary shit is so, like, abysmally low. Like, sure, there might be something around, but your chances of actually seeing it are, are probably not very high. Why is it getting dark? Because time is passing. I don't like that. Well, I think you should just go before it gets dark and you have to wait for 20 minutes. Oh, oh I'm going to wait for 20 minutes. <laughs> okay. Let me just close my eyes and hand the keys over to you. All right. Well, you're in water. It's blue. There's blue stuff in front of you, which is water. Yeah. Um. There's some fish. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, I told you there was some fish, and then it made the hitting fish sound, and then you got scared. Oh, okay. Okay. How are we doing? How far are we? Uh, a couple hundred meters into walrus. Oh! That's the walrus. <laughs> okay, if it's walrus... Yeah, okay. Oh, we're... Okay. We did it! We went to the Aurora and back! Ha-ha! Get fucked, Ocean! Yeah. Well, we got a bunch of stuff for it. And get fucked, Spaceship. Oh, and now we never have to go over there ever again! <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that, I'm sure that we, we went through the entirety of that location. Oh. Make sure you put our model Aurora down somewhere. There we go! That's <laughs> lovely! <laughs> Success! So homely now. Oh, man, I can't tell you how relieved I am. I bet you thought that was going to go horribly wrong, didn't you? No, I thought it'd be fine the whole time. That's why I, that's why I said to do it like from the beginning. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know 
know why you took so long over it. It was bloody fine. Well, I, like the second episode, I was like, we should go. We should go visit that ship before it explodes. You never know. All right, man. We, we could have visited there like five times, and it would have been fun. It was fun. Instead, we had to do it all at once. Why would we want to visit it five times? Because it's interesting. It is not interesting. Yes, it is. It's a big, cool wreck, and it's radiation. We're back. We're back, Martin. We did it. We didn't die. We did the Aurora. Look, if we died, you'd be trapped in here forever, so... I will be trapped in here forever regardless. Well, yeah, but now you, you have company, at, at least, so... This is worse than being alone. <laughs> Would you like a friend, Martin? Yes. What should, what should we get him? A second one of me, so I can make a third one. <laughs> <sighs> All right then, ladies and gentlemen, that is the Aurora Conquered. Yeah. I feel powerful, I feel brave, and I am a champion. You're a strong, confident, nautical marine. Oh, yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like if you enjoyed this, subscribe to the Bubble Mall, consider supporting the future of the channel on Patreon down below, and until we meet again, a good one. Goodbye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye